Hello, Sunday Addicts. My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 No Grade Shining Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent the Shining Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. The Shining Gundam was a mobile suit piloted by the main hero of the series named Domon Kashu, who is brash, impulsive, emotional, and extremely impatient. Representing the Neo Japan, this Gundam participate on the tournament they called Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represents will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this Gunpla was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having the core lander attached to its back. It add a great play value for kids. Simple, yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I used Gundam markers just to bring out the anime look of it. The numb marks are minimum and not obvious. However, as the Bandai hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetics of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point of this kit to 500 yen. But come on, this Gundam has a lot of gimmick. And this gunpla cannot represent those transformation. Look at the face of this thing. The number one issue of 1 to 144 No Grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirts always part of. The arm bracer and the core lander, which is attached on its back, are also loose. Head is on ball joint. Shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees. Bicep bend and swivel. Hands are both on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints, and both feet are on ball joints. The kit has a face swap to represent the battle mode, and also one beam sword. Basically, you just need to swap the closed vent face to open vent face, and this is how they represent the battle mode. The plastic is durable. However, the front and side skirts always puff off. The car lander have the same issue and the arm bracers are loose. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparison to my other figure. Mega Minifigure Slave Leia, 1994 Mighty Marvel Power Rangers Karate Shop and Jason. Jelly Beast Jelly Karaoke. And the 1 to 144 high grade try burning Gundam. Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not that great, but the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even the new Gunpla model are out there. This is my personal review my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello, Sandernatics! My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non-raid Dragon Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent the Dragon Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. The Dragon Gundam was a mobile suit piloted by Sai Sai Si, who is the young heir to the martial arts tradition of the legendary Shaolin Temple. Representing the Neo China, this Gundam also participate on the tournament they called Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represents will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this gunpla kit was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having the core lander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids. Simple, yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I used Gundam markers just to bring out the anime look of it. The numb marks are minimum and not obvious. However, 
as the Bandai hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetics of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point of this kit to 500 yen. It means that the dragon arm cannot extend, no Fei Long flags, and no butterfly wings for the Shin Ryusei Kochoken. Look at the face of this thing. The number one issue of the 1 to 144 non grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirts always pop off. The Corlander, which is attached on its back, are also loose. Head is on ball joint. Shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees. Bicep bend and swivel. Hands are both on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints but restricted and cannot split. Bend at the knees and both feet are on ball joints. This kit doesn't have any accessories or weapon included. What a bummer. The so-called feature of this kit was very lame. It is not even a transformation at all. You just need to remove the hands, and now the dragon arms can bite and ready for action. The plastic is durable. However, the front and side skirts always pop off, and the Corlander have the same issue. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here the comparison to my other collection, Lego Minifigure Slave Leia, 1994 Mighty Morning Power Rangers Karate Jolly Beast Jolly Karaoke And the 1 to 144 non grade Shining Gun Overall, I will give this toy a face reaction This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart They are not great but the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even a new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello, Sander Natics! My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade Gundam Maxer from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent the Gundam Maxer from the anime series Gundam G. The Gundam Maxer was a mobile suit piloted by the Boxer named Shibudi Crockett. Representing the Neo America, this Gundam also participated on the tournament they called Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth. For the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represents will rule Earth until the next Gundam fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this Gunpla kit was pretty basic. But what I really like about this kit is having a Corlander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids. Simple yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I used Gundam markers just to bring out the anime look of it. The numb marks are minimum and not that obvious. However, as the Bandai Hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point. So this model kit, front chest armor, cannot be removed to rebuild the powerful interior and it doesn't have the surfboard which is this Gundam use in anime. Look at the face of this thing! The number one issue of the 144 no grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirt always pop off. The good thing about the Gundam Maxer, it doesn't have any side skirts and front skirt are attached to its crotch. However, the Gundam Maxer knuckles keeps popping off and the core lantern, which is attached on its back, are also loose. Head is on ball joint, shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees, legs are on ball joints but restricted and cannot split, bend at the knees, and both feet are on ball joints. This kit includes one full transformed Gigantic Magnum. The 
transformation was basic. Just pop off the both knuckles and reattach it vertically. For the next transformation, you need to remove the armor mounted on its master shoulder and place it over the hands as a powerful boxing gloves. However, the two-folded gigantic magnum attached on its hips are totally useless. And the kit only provides one unfolded version of it. So it means that the one gigantic magnum will always be folded on its hips. The plastic is durable. However, the car lander on its back still have the same issues. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are comparisons to my other figures. Let me know figures they play. Thank you for Mighty Mighty Power Rangers Karate Kicking Jason. Jolly Bee is Jolly Bee Karo, okay? And the one to one for the four shining gun from Anime Series. Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not great, but that nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even a new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello, Sandernatics! My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade Gundam Bros from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bunny Hobby to represent the Gundam Bros from the anime series Gundam G. The Gundam Bros was a mobile suit piloted by the chivalrous nobleman George Desand, whose fencing skills are above the average on their space colony. Representing the Neop friends, this Gundam participate in the tournament they called Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represent will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this gun pluck kit was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having the Corlander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids, simple yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I use the Gundam markers just to bring out the anime looks of it. The numb marks are minimum and not obvious. However, as the Bandai Hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than the snap and build it immediately. The aesthetics of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point of this kit to 500 yen. So don't expect any rose bits or her hurricane effects. Look at the face of this thing. The number one issue of the 1 to 144 non grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirts always pop off. Luckily, this one doesn't have side skirt parts, and the front and side skirts are molded together with the armor. However, the rose bit launcher does puff off several times, and the back of the cape was loose. Head is on ball joint, shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees, hands are both on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints, but restricted and cannot split, and the cape has a hinge. Even there is no rose bits included, this kit has the unsheathed Chevalier Beam Saber. Basically, you just need to swap the sheathed Chevalier Beam Saber to the unsheathed Chevalier Beam Saber and open the cape to launch the rose bits. The plastic is durable. However, the launcher on its cape keeps popping off, and the cape are loose. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparisons to my other collection. Lego minifigures slave Leia. 1994 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Karate Kid Jason. Jollibee's Jollibee Karaoke. And to the 1 to 144 non shining Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not that great, but the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Hello, Cendernatics! My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade Gundam Bolt from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bonnie Hobby to represent the Gundam Bolt from the anime series Gundam G. The Gundam Bolt was a mobile suit pilot by a space pirate named Argo Golski, and powered by a powerful Victor engine, which make it the strongest mobile fighter in terms of raw strength. Representing the Neo Russia, this Gundam participate on a tournament they called Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represent will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this gun plug kit was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having the core lander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids. Simple yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I used the Gundam markers just to bring out the anime looks of it. The num marks are minimum and not that obvious. However, as the Bandai Hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than the snap and delete immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point of this kit, but it's not enough reason why they didn't include at least a chain for the Graviton Hammer. Look at the face of this thing. The number one issue of the 1 to 144 non grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirts are always popping off. And this Gundam is the best example of it. Head is on ball joint. Shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees. Bicep bend and swivel. Hands are on both ball joints. Legs are on ball joints but restricted and cannot split. And both feet are on ball joints. This kit includes a supposed to be a flail and another flail which is unchained. You need to remove the iron ball which is kept on its shoulders and attach it to the flail to represent the graviton hammer. The plastic is durable. The front and side skirts always pop off. And the Curlander had the same issue. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparison to my other collection. Lego minifigures Lady Leia, 1994 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Karate Kick and Jason, Jollibee is Jollibee Karaoke, and the 1 to 144 non-grade Shining Gun. No. Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not that great, but the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even the new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello Sandernatics, my name is Sanders and I present you the 1 to 144 non-grade Gundam Spiegel from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent the Gundam Spiegel from the anime series Gundam G. The Gundam Spiegel, which is also known as the Shadow Gundam, is a mobile suit piloted by Swartz Bruder until it was defeated by the Gundam Devil. However, Kyoji Kashu use the DG cells to turn Swartz's corpse into an android that was modeled after himself and assign him to protect Domon and watch over him. Representing the Neo Germany, this Gundam also participate on the tournament they called Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represent will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this gun plug kit was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having the core lander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids. Simple, yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I used Gundam markers just to bring out the anime look of it. The num marks are minimum and not obvious. However, as the Bandai Happy suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. 
I understand that they need to match the price point. Look at the face of this thing. The number one issue of the 1 to 144 non-grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirts always pop off. And the Corlander, which is attached on its back, are also loose. Head is on ball joint. Shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees. Bicep bend and swivel. Hands are both on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints, but restricted and cannot split. Both feet are on ball joints. This kit doesn't have any accessories, aside from the spiegel blade which is attached on its bracers. How I wish that they include the Messengrans. It is a throwing knife and his own iron nail. The so-called feature of this kit was very lame. It is not even a transformation at all. You just need to fold his spiegel blade and now he can perform his ultimate attack, Strom and Drang. The plastic is durable, however, the front and side skirts always pop off, and the Corlander had the same issues. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparison to my other collection, Lego Mini Figure Slave Leia, 1994 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Karate Kid from Jason, Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not that great, but the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even the new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello, Sandernatics. My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade Master Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent the Master Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. The Master Gundam was first seen in Japan as a mysterious general of the Death Corps and reappeared in Neo Hong Kong for the Gundam Fight Finals. Because Master Asia was the previous Gundam Fight champion, he and the Master Gundam would only participate in the finals. Representing Neo Hong Kong, this Gundam was the champion of the previous Gundam Fight, which is held every four years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represents will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This had a future century soldier conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this gun plug kit was pretty basic. Sadly, the Corlander which is attached on its back was replaced by wings. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I used Gundam markers just to bring out the anime looks of it. The numb marks are minimum and not obvious. However, as the Bandai Hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point. Look at the face of this thing. From all 1 to 144 non grade Gundam G series kits, this Gundam is the kit that has a major clutch problem. The wings are always pop off, and its hands are so loose. Head is on ball joint. Shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees. Hands are both on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints but restricted and cannot split. Bend at the knees and both feet are on ball joints. Don't forget the wings! This kit doesn't have any accessories at all. How I wish that they should include at least any beam effects for his scarf or at least a darkness finger manipulator. The so-called feature of this kit was very lame. It is not even a transformation at all. The plastic is durable. However, the hands are so loose. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparisons to my other collection. Lego Mini Figure Lego Slave Leia. 1994 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Karate Kid from Jason. Jollibee is Jollibee Karaoke. And 1144 Shuffle Alliance.
Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. Yeah, yeah. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not that great, but the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even the new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review and my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello, Sandernetics! My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade God Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bunai Hobby to represent the God Gundam, which is also known as the Burning Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. The God Gundam slash Burning Gundam was a mobile suit piloted by the main hero of the series named Doman Kashu and was developed in tandem with the Shining Gundam. As the successor of the Shining Gundam, the God Gundam is equipped with a well-balanced arsenal and famous for his signature move called God Finger or Burning Finger on English version. Representing Neo Japan, this Gundam participate on a tournament they call Gundam Fight, which is held every 4 years on planet Earth, where the winning Gundam and the space colony that it represent will rule Earth until the next Gundam Fight. This is how the future century resolved their conflict instead of having a war. The parts of this Gunpla kit was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having the Corlander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids, simple yet so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I use Gundam markers just to bring out the anime looks of it. The numb marks are minimum and not obvious. However, as the Bandai Hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point. The details and the gimmick are present, but the execution are compromised. Look at the face of this thing. The number one issue of the 1 to 144 non grid Gundam G series was the front and side skirts always pop off. Good thing the Cortander, which is attached on its back, has a better clutch. Head is on ball joint, shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees, bicep bend and swivel, hands are both on ball joints, legs are on ball joints but restricted and cannot split, bend at the knees, both feet are on ball joints, and the backpack wings can spread. This kit includes a beam saber and a gut finger or burning finger manipulator. The gimmick of this kit was great. You need to reattach the bracer one pick closer to the Gundam hands and replace the gripping hands with the gut finger manipulator. You also need to spread the backpack wings to achieve its hyper mode. The plastic is durable, however, the front and side skirts always pop off, and the backpack wings on the Corlander was very fragile. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparison of my other collection, like a minifigure Slave Leia, T94 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Karate Kicking Jason, Jellybees Jellybee Karaoke, and to the 1 to 144 non grade Master Gun. Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit is one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not that great, but the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even the new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello, Sandernetics! My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade Rising Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent the Rising Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. The Rising Gundam was a mobile suit piloted by Rain Mikamura to assist Doman Kashu in battle against the Devil Gundam. Even it represents Neo Japan. This Gundam didn't participate on the tournament they called Gundam Fight. Its main purpose was to battle the Sinister Devil Gundam. It was redesigned for real warfare instead of dueling. 
This mobile fighter is equipped with practical weapons like a long range bimbo and the pole arm style hit naginata. The Rising Gundam can also be converted to an aggressive mobility mode in which its shoulder armor becomes a protective shield. The parts of this gunpla kit was pretty basic, but what I really like about this kit is having the coriander attached to its back. It adds a great play value for kids. Simple, it's so effective. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint the model for accuracy. I use Gundam markers just to bring out the anime looks of it. The num marks are minimum and not obvious. However, as the Bandai hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. I understand that they need to match the price point, but Bandai hobby put a lot of love for this kit by adding all its weapons and features. Look at the face of this thing. The number one issue of the 1 to 1 to 44 non grade Gundam G series was the front and side skirts always pop off, and the curl under, which is attached on its back, are also loose. Head is on ball joint, shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees, bicep bend and swivel, hands are both on ball joints, legs are on ball joints but restricted and cannot split, bend at the knees, both feet are on ball joints. This kit has a rifle, a shield, a bimbo, and the hit naginata. Rising Gundam can be converted to an aggressive mobility mode, in which its shoulder armor becomes a protective shield. Then, this Gundam also had the second form. A blue bow mounted on the left arm of the Gundam can be used when performing the Rising Gundam's ultimate attack, the Rising Arrow. The plastic is durable, however, the front and side skirts always pop off, and the Corlander, which is attached on its back, are also loose. The suggested price of this kit was 500 yen according to the box. Here are the comparison to my other collection. Lego Mini Kid Hero Lego Slave Leia, 1994 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Karate King Jason, Jollibee is Jollibee, and to the 1 to 144 non grade God Gun. Overall, I would give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They're not that great. But the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them, even the new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review and my own point of view, and see you next time for more! Hello, Sander Natics! My name is Sanders, and I present you the 1 to 144 non grade Devil Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. This Gundam plastic model, also known as Gunpla, was manufactured by Bandai Hobby to represent the Devil Gundam from the anime series Gundam G. The Devil Gundam, originally called the Ultimate Gundam, was a unique mesh of technological and organic science, created by Dr. Kashu to be used as a vessel for the three theoretical abilities, self-recovery, self-manipulation, and self-evolution. However, due to a malfunction, the Ultimate Gundam programming became twisted and sinister. It decided the only way to restore the Earth was to destroy humanity. Unlike most other Gundam in the future century, the Devil Gundam was a gigantic machine with a variable frame. However, despite the power it possessed, the Devil Gundam required a life form to operate on its core, and the user was connected via organic wires instead of a mobile tray system. The Ultimate Gundam was created in the space colony of Neo Japan by Dr. Raizo Kashu and his eldest son Kyoji Kashu, with the noble purpose of restoring the Earth through the use of its nano machines. However, shortly before the 13th Gundam fight began, the ultimate Gundam was stolen and Mikin the Kashu, Raizu's wife, and Kyoji's mother was murdered. The alleged culprit was none other than Kyoji Kashu, who fled to Earth with the ultimate Gundam but severely damaged by the atmospheric re-entry and its crash landed on Earth. After the crash, the ultimate Gundam system malfunctioned. 
causing its programming to become corrupted. It eventually evolved into the monstrous Devil Gundam, following a new version of its primary directive to heal the Earth. As the Devil Gundam saw it, the problem with the Earth was humanity, and eliminating mankind became its number one priority. Kyoji became integrated with the Devil Gundam as its life core unit, until it was beaten by the God Gundam. However, Ulubi recovered what little remained of the Devil Gundam and transported it back to Neo Japan, intending to reconstruct it for military purposes. Ulubi followed Wong's research and chose Rain Mikamura to be the new core life unit. The parts of this gunpla kit was big, chunky, and fragile, as several parts had a long pegs which is prone to breakage. The color separation was okay, but you need to paint several parts to obtain the anime looks of it. The numb marks are minimum and not obvious. However, as the bonding hobby suggests, a proper sanding and painting will be better rather than to snap and build it immediately. The aesthetic of this kit was not that good. I understand that you need to match a price point. So no claws, no beam cannon effects, and the only gimmick you have here is the big useless Gundam head transformation. Look at the face of this thing. The clutch is okay, but the model was wobbly and several joints collide to each other. Head is on ball joint. Shoulder can bend to side and rotate 360 degrees. Bicep bend and swivel. Hands are both on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints but it's restricted and cannot split. No bend at the knees. And both feet are on ball joints. The kit include the face bend and the longer spine for the transformation. You need to replace the short spine with longer one and fold his legs to achieve the Gundam head looks. Then, put the face vent to complete the transformation. The plastic is durable, however, you just need to take care of those longer pegs which is fragile and prone to breakage. The suggested price of this kit was 1000 yen according to the box. Here are the comparison to my other collection. Like a mini figure is Dave Leia, 1994 Mighty Marvel Power Rangers Karate Kick Jason, Jollibee is Jollibee Karo, okay? And to the 1 to 1, 44, non grade God God. Overall, I will give this toy this kind of reaction. This kit was one of the classic toys that will always put a special place in my heart. They are not that great. But the nostalgia gave me the reason to still collect them even the new Gunpla models are out there. This is my personal review, my own point of view, and see you next time for more!